Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to draw hyperplane for the given data set in support vector machine with a simple example. In this case, we have been given a data set with three positive examples and three negative examples. 4, 1, 4, minus 1, 6, 0 are the positive examples. 1, 0, 0, 1 and 0, minus 1 are negative examples here. Given this particular data set, we need to draw an optimal hyperplane to classify these particular data points. Now, uh, first we will try to mark these particular data points on a 2D graph over here. So, in this case, so the first data point that is 4, 1 is marked over here. The second data point 4, minus 1 is marked over here. The third one is a 6, 0 that is marked over here. When it comes to negative uh, examples, so 1, 0 which is marked over here. 0, 1 is marked over here and 0, minus 1 is marked over here. Now, once this particular data has been marked, we need to identify the support vectors from both the classes. In this case, if we notice this particular data set properly, we can say that 1, 0 is a support vector from the negative class. 4, 1 and 4, minus 1 are the support vector from positive class over here. So, once you identify these particular support vectors, we need to identify the equation for this particular hyperplane over here. We can represent those particular thing in the form of support vectors, something like this. S1 is equal to 1, 0. S2 is equal to 4, 1. S3 is equal to 4, minus 1 over here. Now, we need to add a bias to this particular support vectors. Once you add a bias to this particular support vectors, this will be called as an augmented vector. So, the augmented vector looks something like this. S1 bar is equal to 1, 0. As it is, we will add 1 over here. Similarly, for S2, S2 bar is equal to 4, 1. We have added 1 as a bias. Similarly, for S3 over here. So, once you add this particular 1 as a bias to get this augmented vector, we need to solve these particular 3 vectors over here with the help of these 3 equations. So, in this case, I have written 3 equations. So, the first equation is alpha 1 S1 S1 plus alpha 2 S2 S1 plus alpha 3 S3 S1. So, if you look at here, S1 is common in this particular case, remaining 3 are changing that is S1 S2 S3. If you look at the second equation, S2 is common here and S1 S2 S3 are changing here. The same thing for the third equation, S3 is common, remaining is S1 S2 S3 over here. Because we have uh, three uh, support vectors, we need to get the values for alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3 over here. Now, on the right hand side, I have written minus 1 for the first equation because this S1 bar is a support vector for negative class. So, that's the reason we have taken minus 1 over here. S2 bar and S3 bar are the support vectors for the positive class. We have taken plus 1 here and plus 1 over here. Now, given these particular equations, we need to put those particular values and then we need to simplify this. So, in the first equation that is alpha 1, what is there here? S1, S1. So, S1 is 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. So, I have written it two times plus alpha 2. Uh, what is what is that we have here? S2, S1. So, S2 is 4, 1, 1. S1 is 1, 0, 1. So, that is what I have written here. Similarly, alpha 3, S3, S1 over here. Now, I need to solve this particular equation. So, to solve this particular equation, first we need to get the dot product between these vectors over here. That is 1 into 1 plus 0 into 1, 0 plus 1 into 1, that is nothing but 2 alpha 1. 4 into 1 plus 1 into 0 plus 1 into 1, that is 4 plus 1, that will be 5 alpha 2. Third one is 4 into 1 plus minus 1 into 0 plus 1 into 1, again it is 5 alpha 3, which is equivalent to minus 1 over here. Similarly, we have to do it for the remaining two equations, alpha 1. S1, S2 over here. So, S1 is known to us, S2 is known to us. Similarly, alpha 2, S2, S2 plus alpha 3, S3, S2 over here and which is equivalent to 1 in this case. Again, we need to calculate the dot product here that is 1 into 4 plus 0 into 1 plus 1 into 1. We will get 5 alpha 1. 4 into 4 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 that will be 16 plus 1 plus 1 that will be 18 alpha 2. 4 into 4 minus 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 so, it will be 16 minus 1 plus 1, this will be 16 alpha 3, which is equal to 1 here. The same approach we will follow to get the equation for the third one over here. So, once you look at these particular three equations, we have uh, three unknown values, that is alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3, and we have three equations. 
with the help of three simultaneous equations we can easily get the values for three coefficients over here we can use the calculator to get the values so once you solve this particular three simultaneous equations you will get alpha 1 is equal to minus 3 alpha 2 is equal to plus 1 alpha 3 is equal to 0 either you can use calculator or you can use directly but you need to get the values for alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 by solving these three equations over here now once you get the values of alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 we need to get the weight vector that is uh, or you can say that the hyperplane equation that is w is equal to summation of 1 to 3 because we have uh, 3 you can say that the support vectors alpha i the i will be 1 2 3 multiplied by s i bar s i is nothing but s 1 s 2 s 3 over here so in the first case alpha 1 is equal to minus 3 multiplied by s 1 bar s 1 bar is nothing but what uh, 1 0 1 over here plus alpha 2 alpha 2 is plus 1 multiplied by s 2 here so s 2 is 4 1 1 so that is what i have written here plus 0 that is alpha 3 multiplied by uh, s 3 bar so s 3 bar is nothing but 4 minus 1 1 and we need to uh, multiply this particular scalar value to this particular uh, the vector over here that is minus 3 into 1 that will become minus 3 minus 3 into 0 that will be 0 minus 3 into 1 again it is minus 3 same way 1 into 4 4 1 into 1 1 1 into 1 1 over here 0 into 4 is 0 0 into minus 1 is 0 0 into 1 is equal to 0 here once you get that part you think you need to do the vector addition over here so this will be minus 3 this will be 4 and this will be 0 so 4 minus 3 will be equal to 1 here so here it will be 0 here it will be 1 and here it will be 0 so that will be equal to 1 here minus 3 into 1 is minus 3 plus 1 that will become minus 2 and plus 0 which is equal to minus 2 over here so once you solve this particular equation we got 1 1 minus 2 over here 1 is the coefficient of uh, the first variable 1 is the coefficient of second variable and this minus 2 is the intercept in this case now we will try to draw the hyperplane for this particular case so the hyperplane looks uh, something like this because it is 1 with respect to the first variable and 1 with the second variable the line will look 45 degree inclination against this particular origin over here and the offset in this case or the intercept is minus 2 so it will pass through this particular 2 2 over here so if the value of uh, that particular hyperplane or you can say coefficient is 1 0 the meaning of this particular thing is it is parallel to what we can say that the x-axis we would have got horizontal line if it is 0 1 we would have got the vertical line that will be something like this but in this case we have 1 1 over here it is an inclination of 45 degree with respect to what we can say that the origin over here and the offset is minus 2 that's the reason it will pass through minus 2 over here so this is how we can draw an hyperplane for the given data set so that we can classify the given data set into two classes over here in this video i have discussed how to draw an hyperplane for the given data set I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.